one goes in there, three in the back and one in the front. <coughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Africa episode. Today, we got big things happening. All right, we're going to a new place, new spot that we actually haven't been to yet. We've been all kind of hunting around the same vicinity for the last couple days. We're going to a completely new spot that no one's been to yet. And what we've been told, there's big kudu, big water buck. What else is there? Teen buck, diker, a lot, heart of beast, a lot of things. So we're mixing it up today. We're going, how far away is it? About an hour. Got going, driving an hour. It's really early right now. It's like 5 a.m., 5.30 a.m. Should be good. We're exhausted. <laughs> Africa right now, kicking our butt. We're doing okay, but we're getting, starting to wear it down a little bit, getting up really early. We got a good feeling though. I think today's gonna be good. Someone's gonna put something big down on the ground. You guys stay tuned. What's up? What are you doing? What's going on, dude? There's puppies here. Wow, okay. Did not expect that anyways. How's it going, folks? Wow, you good, bro? Just hear some strange sounds coming from. That was a long drive. That had to be more than an hour. That's probably two. Oh, there's another one. Look at these cute little jackets they have on. Well, we're here, boys. I don't know where. I mean, we are in the middle, middle of nowhere. There's cactuses over there. Uh, I don't know if we're even hunting around here, or what the plan is right now. But all I know is we're gonna attempt to shoot some stuff. These puppies are so cute, though. Come here. What's up, Bubba? Where's it going? How's it going? What's up? Very good tracking dog. Yeah. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna track the kuda today, huh? Is that the plan? Go, 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 go. Bad puppy, come here. What's up? Kind of look like Finn. I'm like a little bigger version of Finn. How do you think today's gonna go, bud? Told you, man. Dude, Get some I don't tampons. Know. I don't know what's going on. Oh, you're, that's your that's your other nostril. I know. It's been your right one. This one's been bleeding so much, now this one starts bleeding. Bro. Is it like the elevation or something? Or I don't, the dryness? I don't know. I don't, I'm not a- Should I be concerned? I'm not a, I'm not a chemist. I, I honestly have no idea. I don't I don't know. Trying to spell knows. Anyways, what, my question was, how do you think it's gonna go today? I think it's gonna be good. This is new territory. I think we're gonna lace it. I don't know what to expect. Like at all. I mean, it's it looks different. It looks so much It's different. wide open. There's not nearly as many bushes and stuff. Like it's like, you can just freaking see. Which I feel like that's gonna make the whole spot and stock thing a little bit difficult Because since we've been in Africa, we've pretty much just been driving around getting to a spot walking a mile or so Maybe finding an animal stocking it shooting it, but I feel like the animals are gonna be able to see us pretty easy I don't know if it's gonna work. We'll see. We'll see what the strat is here in a second But I think everybody's trying to get everything ready. I'm hoping for a big big something. I don't know what just something big First giant water buck. He's probably a half mile, three quarter mile away. We parked the truck on this hill, kind of hidden, and they're right on the other side. We try to stalk around on the backside where they can't see us and see what we can do. Translation, they ran. Well folks, first spot in stock was a botch. We kind of, it's tough. I've kind of said this in the past videos, you guys have been keeping up with the Africa videos. What we're doing is we're taking the truck spot to spot and along the way, if we see any animals kind of along the way, then we kind of stop the truck, everybody jumps out and, and tries to spot and stock. But the, the issue is you want to find the animals really far away from the truck. Like I want to, I want to basically look up in those mountains over there and spot one. That way it doesn't quite see the truck or quite see what we're doing or whatever, and you get an easier spot and stock on it. Those water bucks that we found were pretty close to the truck. I mean, like I said, maybe half a mile away, but I mean, they saw us. So it makes the spot and stock a little bit more challenging, which sometimes can be fun. You know, I've so far during this trip, I have shot a few animals where we have seen them and they've seen us and we've still gotten close enough to shoot them, which is cool. But again, it makes it a lot easier if we can see them from a long ways away. That way we can kind of plan a strategy for how to you know, get downwind and all that other stuff from them. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of kind of what we're doing here. Just driving around, going from spot to spot, looking for animals, but 
the first spot in stock is not a success. Well, ladies and gentlemen, haven't seen a whole lot. Kind of started off good. We started, I think we stocked a water buck or two. We've seen a couple of orcs, seen a couple of warthogs, um, but nothing that we're really, really after. So we're kind of driving around, but as you can see, we've got the gun, the gun facing out on the shooting stand here. And there's actually a fence next to us here because we are on a cattle ranch. It's not a high fence ranch. High fence ranch will have a six foot fence. It's like a four foot fence. So don't think I'm hunting high fence right now. This is a cattle ranch. And we talked to the owner when we got here and they asked us to shoot any jackals that we see, which jackals are like basically the equivalent of coyotes. They're a little bit smaller than coyotes, but they're pretty much just like coyotes. I mean, they can you know take down calves and stuff like that. So you want to hunt them for the same reasons why I hunt cows at my farm to, to protect the cattle, to protect the calves mainly. As we're kind of driving around looking for animals to spot and stock, or looking for good locations to stop and stock, you know, potential animals down by a watering hole or whatever it might be. We've got the gun out and we're ready to shoot anything that comes by that looks like a freaking coyote. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hey, it's been a few hours. We just got done eating lunch. Not been a very exciting day. Not gonna lie, not been not been all that exciting. We've actually seen some smaller warthogs. Uh, we did see a couple of jackals, but didn't really get any good shots on them. But a lot of small warthogs, really. Um, we good? I don't know what's going on. We're driving like freaking maniacs out here. But we're leaving lunch right now. It sounded like Mullet Man and Judd and his dad might have gotten what a kudu, a steen buck, a heart of beast, and a war two warthogs. So they just like they just cleaned up shop. They're headed back now though. Uh, to the main base, the main camp, and we are still at the cattle farm. But I think we might actually try something a little bit different since it is in the middle of the afternoon right now. A lot of the animals just kind of either bed down or go to like watering holes and get a drink because they usually spend the mornings feeding and the evenings feeding and they usually go to the watering holes in the middle of the day and then right at the end at dark. So I think we're actually gonna go check out some watering holes and see if there's either anything there. Or I don't know if we're gonna like sit against a tree or maybe just stay in here and like park this thing behind a tree or spot and stock. I don't really know what the plan is. I just know that I think right now we're going to a watering hole. So that's actually something I haven't hunted yet. I haven't hunted a watering hole yet since I've been in Africa. Um, that's where a lot of the bow hunters have been hunting. Uh, but rifle hunting, I've just been strictly spot and stocking. But I think we're gonna go try a watering hole since we didn't see a whole lot. We'll see what we find. You guys stay tuned. I got him. I got him. We just got flanked, boys. We're sitting here watching this watering hole. Two giant warthogs came from behind us. I grabbed the sticks, flipped around, ran right in front and shot him. There were two giants. One was bigger than the other. I don't know if I got the biggest one. It was a wide open shot, so I took it. Let's go check it out. Shoot! Yeah, that was a close shot there, boys. That's a good size one, though. Yeah, yeah, it's a good size. Not bad. But the other one, thief was standing like the other ones were bigger? Yeah. It's all right. I took the easy shot. That surprised you or what? Yeah. 
I did not think they're this dude. I'm smart. So I'm saying we've been trying to do this to all the water bucks and the oryx and everything all day long, and we got flanked by the freaking warhog. But hey, you know we got the boys in the back were scouting. Also, we heard like a quick little whistle. Look back, they're like, there's warthogs back there. Grab the gun, grab the sticks, flip it around, boom, shot it down. That one's done, ready to go. But it's still the night is still young. We still have we still have maybe another hour or so before we want to take off. And although the one I just shot was a pretty good one, it's not the biggest one. I'm looking for like I want a shoulder mount one, which I don't think that one's big enough to shoulder mount. So we're gonna sit down for a little bit longer, see if a big donkey comes in. That was a tank, dude. That was a freaking tank. Whew. We're walking up, dude. That was, that was crazy. We've been watching so many come in today. We had one behind us, smoked that one. Literally 30 minutes later, bit, oh my gosh. This is the biggest one yet. This thing is a tank, dude. Oh my gosh, that's big. Perfect. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Oh yeah, right in the shoulder, right in the shoulder. That's a big one, dude, that's a tank. Wow, that's, man, that's a, a lot bigger than the other ones. That that's have. a that's a big one. So for those guys who don't know why they're called warthogs, they grow these warts right here, and it's to protect their eyes from getting hit when they're in fights. So you got some like right here, right here. That way when they're fighting, this comes to hit their eye, hits the wart, protects their eyes. Fun fact for the day. Second one down, baby. I was trying to convince John to shoot it, and he wouldn't shoot it, dude. Come on. I was too scared. I would have I cracked under pressure. Dude, that was a, the easiest shot I've had yet. Because I laid it on a tree branch. It's way more steady than the sticks, but... All right, load them up in the truck. What's up, Junior? Dang, we got one, two, three. This is the one I'm mounting right here. Then there was a kudu killed, and a bunch of other stuff from Mullet Man and his crew. They killed some stuff. We're actually taking all their stuff home. Now, the funny thing about this is there's five of us, right? One, two, yeah, five of us. And we are, we have a single cab truck that has two seats, not even a buck seat in the middle, or not even the bench seat, whatever. And then we have all this in the back. So somehow there's supposed to be three people back here, and then two people up there for an hour and a half drive back to camp. You know, I'm not really sure how that's gonna work out. But anyways, I guess we'll figure it out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. I actually really, really enjoyed it because it's something that it's something different. You know, we've been just driving around and spot stocking, which I love. It's good. Camping out, sitting under a tree, and waiting for stuff to come to you, just like you would do deer or even ducks, I guess, come to you. Uh, it kind of made me feel like I was back home hunting just a little bit more than spot and stock because I'm not really a big spot and stock guy. You can't spot and stock geese or ducks. Well, you can. It's called jumping, which I've done before, but not exactly the same thing. So I really enjoyed it. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys are enjoying the Africa series, let me know in the comment section down below as well. And comment down below what what country should I go to next? What big adventure, big adventure should I go on next? Um, let me know what you guys' thoughts are in the comment section down below. Really do appreciate you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Thank you.